Hi, I'm Segi from Elgato, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to swap faceplates on Stream Deck Mark II. Stream Deck Mark II is the updated version to our best-selling 15-key Stream Deck. Along with its updated base design and now removable USB-C cable, Stream Deck Mark II features removable faceplates so you can customize the look of your Stream Deck. You can order customized faceplates from our web store at elgato.com. And removing and installing faceplates is very easy. First, remove your Stream Deck Mark II from its base and unplug its cable. Next, the easiest method to removing Stream Deck Mark II's faceplate is as follows. Use one hand to hold your Stream Deck by its sides to orient it upside down. The bottom edge of Stream Deck's faceplate is much easier to remove than the top end. Next, take your other hand and press its palm towards the Stream Deck's LCD keys. Now, have your fingers wrap around the edge of the faceplate like shown. And now we're ready to pry off the faceplate. Simply pull your fingers in toward your hand, and you should see and hear the faceplate's bottom end pop off its plastic hanging tabs like shown. Now that one end is off, you can simply pull this end of the faceplate up like you're turning a page, and the rest of the faceplate should pop off. Keep in mind, if this is the first time you're removing your Stream Deck Mark II's faceplate, it might take a bit more force than it will subsequent times. If you're having trouble with the technique for removing Stream Deck Mark II's faceplate, the closest comparison we can make to this process is like opening up a can of coffee. Now that you've removed the stock faceplate on your Stream Deck, you're ready to install the new one. To do this, simply rest the faceplate on top of your Stream Deck's base. Make sure that it's lined up with the LCD keys, and now you can just press down to snap the faceplate in place. Be sure to press down all around your Stream Deck Mark II to ensure that all parts of the faceplate are snapped into place. And it's as simple as that. Now your Stream Deck has a little more style, and you're ready to plug it back in and connect it to its base. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that like button and get subscribed, so you can catch the rest of our videos and tutorials to learn how to unlock the full power of your Elgato products. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and until our next video, good luck and have fun.